So I've been watching a lot of Fortnite theories lately, and although everyone has come up with some amazing ideas, they're wrong. Not completely. Everyone added a different piece to the puzzle. However, I believe I have the answers that we're all looking for because I have a satisfying conclusion onto where the storyline is actually going and it all starts with the Peace Syndicate. They were the ones with files in the last reality and have been working to unite the other syndicates to fight back. From the shadows we knew that Trog Knox had been pulling strings but now we know to what extent. Originally we thought he was the one that tampered with the terminal however it's more likely an agent of the Unseen. Looks like our saboteur is embedded with the Unseen. Don't get me wrong I'll cause a little chaos now and then but Always with a purpose. The unseen are unpredictable. The two confirmed members are Styx and Dahlia, who I originally thought were the other two members forming the Triarchy of Darkness. But if that's not the case, who could it be? I want you to put that question in the back of your mind for a moment because there's a bigger point that I think a lot of Fortnite theorists miss. The significance of Styx and Dahlia is that naturally, they like to create chaos, but instead of random acts, it's being coordinated by the last reality and specifically Triarch Knox. Now, that begs the question, why is the last reality going to so much trouble to confuse the syndicates? At first glance, the obvious answer is the last reality wants to steal the weapons and tech of the various syndicates, specifically the luminaries. Although this is true, I believe the real intention of the thefts is to further confuse the syndicates and mask the last reality's ultimate goal. Don't you find it interesting how none of the syndicates are paying attention to these pillars that seem to be growing on the island in an organized pattern? The placement of each set of hinges is clearly strategic with them forming a triangle around the zero point. Now, why is this significant? What if I told you that Fortnite's entire storyline is about triangles? The pillars are set in a group of three, Trognok's name implies three rulers, and the last reality logo, although it has six symbols, there are three prominent ones forming a triangle. I know in my last theory video, I said that Trognox would prove to be useless. However, I'm honestly hoping that I'm wrong because through him, Fortnite could be building up to the greatest last reality arc Ever. Speaking of Triarch Knox, let's look at his name one more time and see how it connects to the nature of the pillars. Originally, people thought his name meant that he was one of three rulers of darkness. However, what if instead it means that he's one of three rulers of the last reality and his main power is darkness? We know that the nothing would love nothing more than reality to be thrust into darkness like it was when he was the only thing in existence. The nothing has also been known to give other worthy beings powers. I don't see why Triarch Knox would be any different. Maybe he has a shared power with a nothing, or maybe he's the physical manifestation of the nothing itself, like an avatar. Regardless, I believe Trog Knox's name is a clue for the structural nature of the last reality itself, that he is one of three Triarchs that has dominion over that realm. But what does this have to do with the pillars? If the pillars are indeed products of the last reality, they will probably be used as conduits to tap into the Zero Point's energy and transport their army to the Fortnite island. The last reality has always needed either an agent present on the island or a pre-opened portal in order to get to the Zero Point. I don't know why, but for some reason it appears that the nature of their reality doesn't allow them to travel the Omniverse at will. This is why they want the Fox Clan's Rift technology from Mega City, and that's also why they needed the Rift Gate last season. They couldn't transport their army with the Rift Gate, but they were able to send one agent through, which was Triarch Knox. This is also why Knox has recruited Syndicate members such as the Unseen, because in many ways, he was stranded. But now he has help, including that from Serenade. Cyan came up with a really interesting theory that Serenade was actually a member of the River Guard, but is now corrupted by the last reality. This not only adds up with my Triarch Knox Knox recruitment theory, but makes sense since she does share appearances with the Cube Queen and has water-based powers. But here's the real reason why Knox recruited her, and I need to borrow a theory from Restro to prove this. If the pillars are conduits for a portal to be generated from zero point energy, and their goal is finally bringing the last reality's army to the Fortnite island, Triarch Knox wants all the help he can get, and he's already got a dormant member of the last reality on the island. This entire time, many of us thought the Herald was dead or had disappeared, but in actuality, she was just dormant, lying in wait for the day she would be revived. Recently, the textures and dirt around the Herald were altered to be more vibrant, as if they were being injected with nutrients. And it happened at the same time that Serenade appeared with two more sets of pillars, a water-based character who has elements of the Herald's anthem in her song, along with epic teasiness with her doing the Herald's emote. I think the writing's on the wall, she's the Herald's Herald. Not to mention the leaked survey skin of an Amber Herald, which by the way, Amber is produced from combining water with trees. Shout out to Rezro for this theory, because not only does it make sense, it puts the the second to last piece I needed for this triarchy theory. But it also makes us ask another question. Who's the last member? 
I think it's obviously the Cube Queen. Or is it? Don't you find it odd that every Halloween, with the exception of last year's, the cubes have made an appearance on the Fortnite island? Oh, the clock lies for me and the chrome. Why would we need the cubes too? For two reasons. One, the cubes and the chrome have mixed before. Look at the old pillars from Chapter 2, Season 6, or Raz's body. But second, and most importantly, if the cube queen was alive, why wouldn't they just send her back? After all, the only reason we escaped her wrath was because we flipped the island, but that wouldn't have worked a second time because both sides would have been overrun with cubes. Okay, Clark, but if the cube queen doesn't come back, who does? That's easy. The cube king. The origin. I always used to think that he and the cube queen ruled together as husband and wife. It would have made an interesting and poetic story. He had to abandon his power and family for the greater good of all reality. However, the more I thought about it, it didn't make sense for there to be two cube rulers who shared the power. Someone on TikTok also pointed out to me that the triarchy wouldn't work if the cube queen and king both ruled at the same time. Although there were ways to justify that, there's a simpler answer. When it comes to the cubes, I believe the origin was the sole ruler. He left the power of the cubes behind, leaving the nothing without a warrior to wield the power. After some time, he found a new champion being the cube queen and sent out a scout to track down not only the origin, but reality zero. And that was the cube we saw in chapter one. The Cube Queen appeared, created a path to the zero point for the last reality, and was defeated before they could fully take over. Fast forward, the seven are captured, and the nothing has his first warrior of the cubes back. This brings me to my ultimate conclusion, answering the question, where is this all headed? I believe Trachnox is the big bad and ultimate villain for this chapter. Instead of using his powers to take over the Fortnite island right away like previous villains, he's learned from their mistakes and has been acting as a puppet master from the shadows, building his army and presence on the island as he was the only one who went to the Rift Gate to keep a low profile. He may have killed the Oathbound, including Stellan and the Ageless, which is why they're currently not on the Fortnite island. By the way, shout out to Tedious X for inspiring that theory. We talked about that off camera. Nox has also been taking his time setting up these pillars which are cracking the Fortnite island and cornering the zero point. He's accomplishing two of the last reality's goals at the same time, conquering Mega City by separating it from the larger Fortnite island and using the zero point for its ability to transport the last reality to the island. He's also created an insurance plan, giving himself more help by resurrecting one of the biggest assets, the Herald, and using her powers of consumption. Once completed, the pillars will open up a gateway bringing in a corrupted seven, and most importantly, a a reinvigorated origin with cube powers to dominate the Fortnite island as the third part of the triarchy. Cubes, chrome, and darkness, splitting the island into three sections, each with its own biome and ruler, and a corrupted seven running as interference for anyone who tries to stop the last reality from getting to the zero point. Tell me that doesn't sound crazy. Now listen, there are a few things I didn't explain. For example, Mystica's connection to the Herald as well as the Luminaries, as well as a deeper understanding of Mega City and some of the other syndicates and how they kind of impact the overall Fortnite universe. I think I've given you guys enough to chew on for now. This is quite a bit of information I've just thrown at you. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this and if it answers all the questions about the Fortnite storyline that we have so far with what we know. But on top of that, we're going to save all those other things I just talked about for the next storyline video. So until then, why don't you subscribe to the channel and also check out this video I'm going to have for you like right about here. It's going to go over everything we knew about Triarch Knox. I love you guys and I'll catch you soon. Peace out.